Yo, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to the video. Today we are checking out a hand cam from Slight. And for those who don't know, Slight is one of the best controller players in the game right now. Dude is dominant and he does so with incredible mechanics and incredible peace control. So he just posted a hand cam, so I wanted to make a reaction video to it. And we can break down how he actually uses his binds, uses his setup to get the best control in his fights. And th dude, this guy wins like so many fights. He outplays people so hard he's got really great prediction and he just controls every aspect of the build fight so we're gonna watch this video today it's gonna be lit i guarantee it and we'll see how slight actually gets down with the hand cam if you guys enjoy this type of content drop a like on the video hit that sub if you guys are new and let me know in the comments somebody you think i should check out in the future for a new video always love to hear feedback from you guys thank you so much for watching let's get into it all right so he uses an astro a40 controller i use a scuff infinity um, basically sort of a similar setup, although I liked, my personally liked the scuff better because I found the joysticks on it were tighter. I felt like they were more responsive than me, but I've tacked the slight. He likes the Astro better, so fair enough. So he basically has jump and, and edit bound to his paddles, which I think is a really good setup. And then the other thing he has is he has his switch mode on his L3 click. And what that allows him to do is he's able to keep his thumbs, as you can see in the hand cam, on his like joysticks the entire time. Whenever he's doing his editing, whenever he's doing his movement through his builds, that's huge. Because the moment you have to take off, like your thumbs off your joystick, even for a split second, you completely lose your movement and your momentum. And it's really, really crucial, man. If you want to be, like, absolutely dominant, like, top of the game on controller, you got to be able to figure out some kind of setup where you can keep your thumbs on your joystick. And obviously, Slide has. He's nuts. Look at these edits, dude. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. Holy, dude. <laughs> He's just flowing through it, man. So he's showcasing some of his edits right now. Then he's going to get into some arena. See if he can get an arena dub. And showcase basically how he uses the um, his insane movement, you know, like in arena to dominate. And he does it with peace control. We're going to break down every single thing he does in arena. And we're going to showcase for you guys like how essentially you can use that and apply it to your own game. Obviously, Slight is incredibly skilled mechanically. But he does a lot of straightforward stuff that... Believe it or not, you don't have to be the most mechanically skilled player to be able to use what he does and dominate with it. <laughs> Yo, that's so hard to do, man. The triple edits like that. Like, that's mad difficult to be able to do that consecutively that well. All right, of course, we're starting off with the start drop. Guys, make sure you go over and drop a sub on Slight as well after you're done watching this video. Dude is actually nuts. I love watching him, and he's so good. He makes really, really good, like, simple controller tip videos as well. Got really good tracking there. He's got a purple pump early in the game, so that's obviously, like, nuts, man. There's literally nothing better to see than a purple pump early game. Makes all the difference. How do you even hit that shot right there? What in the world? So he's going with that high wall that allows him to just basically like control the fight above him. He's always looking to get peace control. This is a little bit of an awkward fight because he got like, he has like no mats early game here. He's able to get the kill. Has to trade a little bit of damage there, but he's chilling now. This vault is the weirdest spot to be, man. You just can't build at all. <laughs> Yo, so that's a, a little thing you can do. Resetting your edit, but not actually completing the edit and then changing it. A lot of people expect to see the wall get reset and then... Um, Basically, they expect the wall to turn into a flat wall again, and then you to edit it again. I know it's a simple thing, but if you can get into the habit of mechanically resetting the edit and then hitting a new edit, all in kind of like the same move, you can catch people off guard really, really well. Take note, Slight's at 26,000 arena points, dude. What a freak. <laughs> like, what an absolute monster. I kind of honestly, after watching him grind, dude, I kind of want to try to go for like a really, really high arena point score like next season. But, dude, I get so tilted in arena. 
Oh my god, dude. Really nice of Slate to help that, that clearly lost gentleman find his way back to the lobby right there. So right now he's doing what I call like defensive peace control right there. Just trying to establish the most space around himself. And he, by doing that, basically, like, he's able to, like, grab that wall that opponent just gave him up. And watch this. Set up to absolutely dumpster this guy. Let's let's take that back real quick. So this basically goes back to Slight's big brain prediction ability. He has this wall right here. But notice how he's not panicking. He's not, like, running in here to try to, like, take this position and essentially put himself into a really awkward place. Um, instead, what he does is he baits this player here, grabs this wall so that this player thinks it's safe to kind of run this way. But because Slate is so fast, he grabs the wall and the pyramid above it. And then he just waits for the player to make that edit, which he does very predictably. Grabs the pyramid, the walls, and dumps them, man. So smart. Uh, he's honestly so good, dude. So right there, he doesn't have the greatest ping ever. Obviously, he's got a pretty good ping, but he doesn't always get every single individual wall. And what he does instead is he does like, I'll call it again, defensive peace control, where you try to just grab the builds ahead of the person even going for them. That way, you're not trying to compete for builds based on who has the better ping. You just control the situation already. And it's really, really good. I personally play on like 60 or 70 ping. So I learned so much watching Slight and how he does that. It makes it feel like even though you're playing on a high ping, you're a higher ping player, you might be playing on console with more delay, just by like having those preemptive peaks <laughs> helps so much, dude. So many people right here. Watch how he again plays defensively. He branches out, controls as much as the fight. And then tries to set himself up with angles. He's try not trying to overexpose himself. He knows that there's, there's like four people involved on this build fight. So he's just trying to hold his own angles as best as he can. And look, he's going to get tags on this dude. So he's going to drive out. He hears the other two guys fighting. So he knows there's an opportunity here to push. Throwing that pyramid above his head. And there's the peace control, baby. Good night. Oh my god, man. Absolutely body that guy. So he's got full health. He's just trying to reset the fight a little bit. There's that peace control. That one little... If you make that window edit and then just throw a pyramid through it, you get that pyramid placement like literally every single time. It honestly works so well. Good night, dude. Good night. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. And then just like that, by not overcompensating, by instead setting up peace control, controlling the builds around yourself, Slight's able to kill literally every single person in that build fight. And there he is again, just trying to predict the player movement. And again, as he drives the boxes, he also jumps. <laughs> but he also drops two ramps on each side of that, that box as well. That keeps his opponent guessing. Slight's big gameplay style is not all about speed. More so, it's about making the opponent guess, putting them on the back end. <laughs> and hitting those shots, baby. Oh my goodness gracious. So right there, he's just going to pluck at this guy. Trying to gradually, gradually establish build control. You'll notice that as soon as he gets one wall, he doesn't just automatically jump into the box and make it a 50-50 fight. I see a lot of people do that. I do that. Basically, it removes your own advantage. So right now, he's just watching for the peak. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the timing off right there. But hits a 209 on him. And again, only giving enough of his body so that he can just get the shot off. Playing really, really well. Again, notice how he's placing those walls out. He's doing that so that if the opponent happens to go in that direction, he would control the fight at that point. That's the thing that makes Slate so, so smart and such a good player. He's not thinking about the fight at hand. He's playing for the fight in the future. I know it sounds weird, but that's honestly what makes him so good. Looks like he's dropping a little bit of frames here. That looked hella laggy, but I think it was just his recording. 
I bet you it's probably because he's um he's recording hand cam. Basically because you're recording like two video sources, it lags everything out, I think. <laughs> oh man, why'd you fade it out slight? That was so sick. Yo, GG's, dude. Yo, one of the best peace controllers in the game. It's so cool to see him doing it from a hand cam's perspective. And it really emphasizes the fact that when you're playing on controller, being able to keep both thumbs on your joystick is huge. Now, he uses the Astro. That, I, I think, is a lot more expensive versus the Scuff Infinity. And I love this thing. Um, I would definitely vouch for the Scuff Infinity 100% over the Astro. I've tried both. I like the Scuff way better. Uh, but... Eat tweets their own, whichever controller you like better. Figuring out a setup that allows you to keep both thumbs on your joysticks at all times is huge for being able to have that like fluid movement and that domination that you see from players like Slight. Dudes, make sure you go over and drop a subscription on my, my dude Slight. I'm going to link his channel down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, smack a like on it. Hit that sub if you guys are new. And let me know in the comments a player you'd love to see me check out and break down next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.